Welcome back to IGN Live at E3 2017. I'm here with Dave Lang. How's it going? It's going great, and we are taking a look at Extinction today, running in the background. Now, this is a new IP from Iron Galaxy. Why don't you tell me about it? Yeah, it's really lucky. So a lot of people know us for fighting games like yeah. Dive, Kick, or Killer Instincts. I have heard of these games. You may have heard of them. <laughs> uh, but we always wanted to do kind of a more traditional action game. And so we got linked up with our friends at Maximum Games. Mm -hmm. uh, Derek Neal, executive producer, he's been the one doing the demo here for us in the background. He kind of came to this initial idea of like, hey, what can we do like the Shadow of the Colossus style game? Mm -hmm. We're like, let's, I love that game. It's like top five of all time for me. Uh, let's take something like that, put a twist on it, more of an action game twist with our fighting game pedigree, and see what we can do. So here we are. So what are the confirmed platforms for this game? Uh, PS4, Xbox One, and Steam right now. All right. Did you ever think about Switch? But I love the Switch. We're doing a Switch project that I can't talk about right now. OK. And the hardware's great. The dev, the dev stuff is great. Uh, we really, really like the Switch a lot. So maybe, maybe one day. All right, I really want to know about that one. Everybody's loving the Swiss these days. But let's talk about what we're looking at right now. He's running around in a town. What kind of stuff can you do here? OK, so the game has three major uh, like gameplay features. The first, which Derek is showing off now, is kind of the mobility options you have. Um, you, get, you unlock powers and upgrades, like double jumps, wall runs, uh, the ability to latch onto things with your whip and catapult yourself up. You can also jump off um, anything kind of like bouncy in the environment, like awnings or trees or whatever, and just kind of get up to the top. And the whole reason you need these awesome mobility options is because you're fighting ogres in this thing which are invading your town, and they're 150 feet tall. Mm -hmm. So you kind of need all the help you can get to get up high. The so, so everybody in town is just like, just let them do whatever. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the, main, so the main goal of the game is to prevent an extinction of your people, right? And so right now, uh, Derek's opened up a portal to try to get these guys free to the next dimension. And monster spawn, and you got to stave off the enemies. Uh, this is kind of where like our combat stuff comes in, our love of like deep combat systems mechanics. Kind of almost like Devil May Cry juggles are in here too. Mm -hmm. um, you got the flying minions. Yeah, this is a rune strike, powered up move, like pretty much a one hit kill on anything. Okay. Um, and then uh, yeah, here come the ogres. So now it's business. So the, like the fictional setup for this game is uh, in this land a long time ago. Ogres were around all the time. They were a constant menace. And Avil, the main character here. Uh, he used to be part of a larger order called the Sentinels, and they would fight the Ogres and keep them at bay. The Ogres disappeared for a long time, and everyone thought they were gone forever, so Sentinels kind of died away, uh, but now the Ogres are back, and the Veal's kind of the only one that can deal with them. Okay. So he's got to go take them down. So is he the last Sentinel? He's the last Sentinel, that is correct. All right. Are you able to play with friends? Uh, not currently. We do have uh, social stuff, like we have um, challenge modes, and you can make kind of random maps based on uh, properties you like, and share those with your friends and compare high scores. Uh, the main thrust of the game, though, is a single-player uh, campaign mode with a deep story. Got it. So right now we're taking a look at uh, him beating up this ogre. It looks like you bust off pieces of armor. Yeah, so all the ogres are different. They're kind of like randomly generated. They might have different armor types made of different materials and different ways of taking them down. Uh, this one here is head kind of looks like wood bracers, kind of like a beginning ogre difficulty. Um, the ogre's making his way to the city to just basically destroy it. Everything in the environment's destructible, and Derek's going to see what he can do to stop him here. So yeah, he took the bracers off of him, because this guy is much easier to take down. If you can take out a leg, take out his mobility, Ooh. right? Well, so, he's done, right? Uh, no, he it's cut not. off a guy's leg. He's not getting back up. Well, no, actually, it'll grow back. These ogres, oh. are, these ogres are pesky. So All right. Derek just showed us these are one-hit kills in Extinction. All right. Uh, the ogres are super, super fierce. We'll say he did that on purpose. Yeah, no, it was, it's part of the script. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but you respawn back in the city, and you got to get out there and take him down. The leg uh, probably will spawn right by the time he gets back there. All right. This ogre's back in business. Um, you don't have to take out the leg or the arms. You can scale up the ogre's back. Uh, you just, there, yeah, you there he goes. He just popped up. He's back in business. So We'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, rune strike again. So, how, when you charge that up, how long do you have to hold it in order to be strong enough to like cut off a leg? It, it's uh, it's more of a function of how many minions you kill to get the charge up to do it. And then once you get a rune strike, it's all kind of the same length. So I think you can take the arm off here. To, yep, so now he's removed the arm. And this side of the ogre is basically not a threat anymore, so he's free to scale him at his leisure. Got it. He's going to run up the old back here. Uh, this game is still pre-alpha. We're still putting in a lot of animations for the ogre, stuff like you know, reaching up behind his head, swatting him. That'll all be there shortly. Got to admit, you guys have a fighting game pedigree. I was yep. pretty surprised to see a game like this uh, being done on a stage. Excited, yeah. but what did you learn from your fighting game past? Yeah, I mean, we're all about really high performance, 60 frames a second, uh, really, you know, links, combos, really deep, robust fighting systems. And we think games like this uh, traditionally miss that kind of stuff. They don't really have it. So we really want to make something that uh, feels like the combat has to feel great first and foremost, and we think we're pretty much there right now. Oh, and so the Ogre's in town over here. That's not good. Yeah, not good for not good for business. You got him, Derek. Go get him. 
<laughs> so you see here, this is a gold ogre, so kind of a different, uh, different type of armor. So before the wood bracers, you just kind of had to take them down. You might be able to see the latches on the side of the ogre there. You have to undo all the latches before the bucklers will come off. And it goes for the arms, everything on this guy. So if the ogre destroys the town, are you done? Is that end of game? Uh, no, it doesn't end. Well, so your goal is to uh, save as many humans as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. And your net score at the end is affected by how well you did. Um, you'd probably want to replay if all the humans died, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not an end condition. Uh, are there like going to be alternate endings? Is there a story mode? There is a story mode. We're going to talk a lot about that, uh, what's in there, and what the details of that are coming out soon. OK. So we're on top of the ogre. Yeah. We haven't cut off his legs or anything yet. Not yet. <laughs> as morbid as that is. Uh, what can we do if we get up here? Uh, yeah, so any of those green things you can latch onto with your whip and kind of catapult yourself up with. Um, also, those flying minions, you can use those to kind of a scout. That's one thing that was funny. You know, we, we did the uh, non-gameplay trailer a couple weeks ago when we announced the game the first time. Yeah. And a lot of the feedback we got is like, oh, that trailer looks great, but you'll never be able to do that stuff in the game, right? Uh, it turns out you can do all that stuff in the game, all the mobility stuff, like climbing the ogre. Yeah, Derek just lashed onto him there, catapults himself to the top. I think he's going to start delatching uh, this helmet here. Got it. Uh, one thing you guys did bring up is that you can create battlegrounds. Yeah, correct. How does that work? So basically, there's, it's, not like a full, it's not a map editor, but you can say, I want this kind of features, I want the town, I want this many minions. And then it kind of randomly generates based on what you want. And then you can share that with your friends that compete for high scores and stuff. So, Cool. Yeah. And uh, what about extinction mode? What is that? Extinction mode is like a daily challenge mode. So it's one that uh, we kind of curated and created. We put it up live. And again, it's all about kind of like social, asynchronous uh, competition with friends. OK. Rough spawn point for there. <laughs> right, <front. laughs> right under the van. <laughs> All right, so we're busting off armor. This is obviously one of the more difficult challenges. Yeah, this, this ogre's tough. This is what, so this uh, isn't a map you'd see in the game with this mix of ogres. Like, this is more of like a late game, which you'd see here. Got it. Yeah. So how many hours do you have to put into like leveling? Like, is it a progression system? So there's a progression system. It's based around uh, story progression, though. OK. So it's, it's not like um, you might get to the end and not have the powers you need to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, things just kind of unlock as you're playing through the game. But it's more like we don't want to overwhelm you at first, because like, this game has a super, super high skill ceiling. You know, the mobility options, like if you're playing this right, you'd probably never even touch the ground. You know, you're bouncing from rooftop to rooftop, to crane, to top of a wall, to the top of the ogre. And uh, that stuff takes a while to learn and get good at. I guarantee you it doesn't look like this when I'm playing the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, we're seeing the gold ogre. We saw one other before. We see yeah. flying enemies, ground enemies. How many enemy types are there going to be? There's four total, uh, the minions, and then the ogres are kind of like randomized, randomized different, slightly different behaviors to them, different armor settings, that sort of stuff. OK, what sort of behaviors do they get? Uh, so right there, you saw like, he's on the ground. If he's on the ground, he's pouncing people. Um, some people, it's like, it really depends on several factors, how late you are in the game. Some are more aggressive about going for the city. Some will take an interest in you and stalk you down. OK. They want to do stuff like that, so yeah. Uh, you talked about some of your inspirations, Devil May Cry and such. Yeah. Uh, those games sport a really, really solid frame rate. Yeah. Uh, did you specifically call them out and not a game like God of War because of that? Uh, no, no. We like, it was more like, um, I mean, God of War is really good, and they have the same kind of large-scale enemy fights we do. But uh, I think the frame rate's pretty good in that game, too. It's, it's more about um, we really like just the snappiness of the combat in, like, a Devil May Cry, right? Mm -hmm. Versus, like, God of War, which is kind of, like, more of a brawler or whatever. Uh, like, the combat in Devil May Cry, it's snappy, it's fast, and that's the kind of stuff we're going for here. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to see some destructibility here, I bet. Oh, Derek's getting bopped <laughs> again. But, yeah, you see the Ogre starting to do quick work of the city here. All right, so Derek's going to go ahead and finish him off. I have one more question for okay. you, however. Uh, Iron Galaxy, you said you have another project. When are we going to hear more? Sorry? When are we going to hear more about your other project? Oh, so we're going to talk about that probably around Gamescom time. Oh, that's really yeah. exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to know. Let's finish off this ogre really quick, chop off his head. One more rune strike, the coup de gras. Get wrecked. <laughs> He's not Were you guys worried at all about going that gory? Uh, you know, we're not done yet. We'll see what happens. All right, I, all right. I, I bet you that won't play in Germany. More so. gore. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Dave Lang. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. Guys, for more on all things Extinction and E3 2017, keep it right here on IGN.